Hi, I'm Tony from Atomos and we're here at NAB 2016, here to show you what's new coming out from Atomos right now. Fresh off the press, we've just won Production Hub Award. Thank you very much, Production Hub, for the Shogun Flame, and that's what I'm going to show you right now. It's uh, only come out four weeks ago, showing at NAB for the very first time, and it's super exciting. Apart from a load of features, it's added HDR, which is really going to open up a lot of creativity for filmmakers. So let me show you that. The first thing to note is, well, HDR, what it is, is it's high dynamic range. So it's the ability to be able to see the brightest of whites, the darkest of blacks in the one scene. You know, for years we've been watching TV. You never, you never cringe at a sunset. You never get that brightness feeling coming off a TV. We've just accepted that that's the brightness range of a television. But now we're able to expand that and get a more realistic image, which is more engaging for end users. And the good news is all of the log cameras out there are already HDR. 12, 14 or 15 stops of dynamic range coming out of these cameras. The problem has been that we have to view it in a six stop world, which is LCD monitors. So now we're able to, to see it in the full range thanks to Atom HDR. So we come in, instead of looking at this washed out image on screen, what we're able to do is go in and select HDR, select which camera that we're looking at. So it could be uh, Panasonic, could be ARRI, could be a JVC, could be red, but in this case it's Panasonic. So I've selected Panasonic, I've got V-Log coming in, and so we're able, because we've got total control over our entire panel, we're able to perfectly map the log profile. So we're able to reveal the final HDR result in post-production while you're in the field. No more looking at washed out images. So let's do that. We're looking at the, the panner, and we're gonna focus in on the waveform, and you're gonna see as I move from SDR to HDR, you're gonna see the number of stops that I've gone above uh, standard dynamic range or rec 709 and we're going to see just as we get to the top of the waveform the true HDR image and there it is so now you can see we're seeing the, the, the highlights the twinkles of the dress you're seeing the brightest of whites as well as darks in the one image and so the shooter as well as the director can make a creative decision around whether this is what they want to see in post and, and go from there so no more guessing with log no more grayscale cards no more complicated mathematics, it's just shoot what you see, which is exactly what we see. So that's exciting. It's all thanks to the fact that the flame now comes with a 1500 nit panel, so it's super bright. It's got 10 bit processing for nice smooth transitions, and it's totally non-destructive for your log footage. It records still to SSDs on the back, records to log, so that you can take it in post and deliver an SDR or HDR. The second exciting thing, which has been an update that is gonna come with 7.1, is the fact that we can do HDR in and out. The standard for HDR in luminance is called PQ. So we can accept a PQ signal in and a PQ signal out. Now why is that important? You can take PQ out to an HDR monitor on set and they're all coming through in 2016 from the flat panel brands. So you're able to see HDR on set and collaborate on set. But what I think is super exciting is the fact you can feed a PQ in. So if you haven't got the cash for a beautiful reference monitor at $30,000, uh, could be a 12 bit, could be a 2000 nit screen, you haven't got that cash, you can use the 7-inch show, calibrated Shogun Flame to accept a PQ signal in, and now you're able to grade looking at a true HDR image. So you can use this in, out of your NLE into the Shogun Flame and, and be grading as well. So all you do there is instead of telling it you're seeing a Panasonic log curve, you just tell it, I'm seeing a PQ signal. And now you're getting true HDR represented on the screen. So it's really exciting what we're able to do with HDR. If you don't use shoot in HDR, if you've just got normal Rec 709, take it out of that mode and now you've got the brightness slider to get the full effect of a 1500 nit panel. So for gimbal guys and those that shoot outdoor, basically is hood free monitoring out outdoors as well. So it's got that extra benefit as well. All of the scopes that you, you expect from, from Atomos and it's all one touch away thanks to our amazing GUI. So that's what's new. The Ninja Flame is a, is a HDMI only model, 1295, available now. The Shogun Flame is SDI and HDMI and XLR, available now at 1695. And the announcement at the show has been the Shogun Inferno, which is coming in Q3 of this year. It's gonna add 4K 60p recording, HD 240 frames recording, quad link SDI on the back, and as I said, 1995, Q3 of this year. 
So lots of exciting announcements, uh, a new partnership with, with uh, X-Ride so we can calibrate all the screens. Uh, we've got a, an exciting technology demonstration with GTEC, so our super affordable master caddy system for, to, lets you use any SSDs, now will work inside a GTEC array, so data wrangling there is efficient. Essentially, every part of the workflow that we can fix up, we're doing one by one, and uh, the Shogun Flame and Shogun Inferno has been a, a big part of that. So to stay updated or check out all of the details about these products you've seen, head to the Atomist website, atomist.com.